Yeah. That, and that's it. I mean, part of it is do not be afraid to say, I said, come over here. He outweighs you, my dear. So then, if, he, if he's not giving, then you just take it. There you go. And then kick him sideways. And then let him have it back. Say, thank you. That's all I want. And he's still got to be round. Take his head inside, push sideways. He's got to give both ways. Doesn't matter. There. Now he can ride and be in that frame. That's fine. But he's still got to get rounder. He's too high. Not high. He's not enough in. Take that inside rein. Say, excuse me, mister. Then you can straighten him out and then still keep the rein and say, stay with me. So don't be afraid to take his face and say, excuse me. There, 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 better. This is just the new phase he's on. So find your, you know, between quarter and half and then do your leg yield. And so remember, do a little left, right, left, right, just quiet. Just float them over, left, right, left, right. A little more of the outside rain. That's good. He's floating over pretty fast now. There, that's better, huh? Again, keep that rain. And then you just kind of push him over and use your outside rain and say, come on, there, how'd that feel? Good girl. But keep him round. Round, round, round. Rounder, rounder, rounder. Round around, around her. There you go. Good. So even when he's resistant, you just sit there and say, we don't care. Turn. Keep that inside and then play with your outside going over. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. There. Feel that? Yep. Okay, go ahead and go across diagonal. You let him be a little longer, lower for that, and like push him a little, and then we'll do leg yield the other way. There you go. Now just squeeze with your calf. So here you're going to work a little harder. Keep it. There. Good. That wasn't so bad. Inside rein, keep it. And then play with the left and bring them over. There you go. There you go. Someone's getting a little more supple. How's that feeling? There you go. Just squeeze with your calf. Say, forward guy. There you go. There. There. That was very good. And just squeeze with your calf and say, just be up here with me and be forward. There you go. That's nice. That's really pretty. Still rounder, though. Don't give that inside rein up. So you can do it down in these, but make it in a corner, not on a straight line, okay? This is pretty. Make them round though. Keep that inside rein as you're asking. Inside rein, push sideways and then just quietly ask. So right now. Got it. The girl. And then just left, right, left, right, or pick and drop, whichever one you want. You're gonna like this. Your little racehorse. So we do like like a 15 meter circle or something down there. Anything that slows them down just a little bit. Just sit back, left, right, left, right. There.
There you go. Good girl. Okay, now you find your, yeah, now ride a good trot. Really good. Hands down a little bit now. Hold them and just ride. Little calf. How's that feel? <laughs> and he goes, I'm going to do my stop thing. Let him go a little bit and just get your good trot. And you got his head that when you turn it, he turns it and is supple. Because that's your big key this direction. Glue your elbows at your side so your hands aren't so floppy. Squeeze, make him trot. There you go. It's got to be rounder. Keep that inside rein. So really take his head when you turn these corners. There. Good girl. Good girl. And then he can go on his own again. Then he just understands that's what he has to do. Squeeze. Good girl. So try not to let him come in the middle when you're making this turn, when you take his head. You got it. I did come in the middle it's okay, it's fine, you're fine. Just let him ride it. Now just left, right, left, right, don't run me over. And just get him quiet. Just left, right, left, right. Really pick up on that inside one because that's the one that's going to kind of set him back a little bit. And then release it and pick it and release it and pick it and release it and pick it. And I mean, it's that fast. I mean it when you take it. He's going to stop. Keep your leg on. Okay, that's fine. Every time I pick it up, he slows down. Well, he's supposed to be slowing down. Then you got to keep your leg on and say, okay, slow down, but still keep underneath yourself. That's all. You need what? I need more leg muscle. Yeah? Come on. Good girl. Well, and he just, he just, he's still learning. That's the other thing. So there, really take his head when you're turning. And then he can have it back. But the whole idea is that he gives it up. And then you're going to take it again, a lot. And push him side. There, good girl. And push him sideways. Leg yield over. Leg yield over. Leg yield over. Good girl. It's like, oh man, you're so mean to me. Feeling better? So take it. So now here, take it. And while you're pushing sideways, now you ask. Okay, now just get him organized again. Push sideways. Come on. Put boot M1. Say, Mom can get a whip too. There you go, good girl. Just ride it. You know, sometimes things get a little messy. I told you that a long time ago. There you go. There he goes. Even try here. Good girl. That's fine. Come on. Yeah, good girl. Kick his little butt over. Good girl. Like, excuse me, mister, who's in charge here? There, good girl. Now do that, give up a little of your outside, a little, and now ask now. No, no, just take it. I'm going to take this off. And then forward. Let him carry himself. Still got to be round. There you go. So now don't be so crazy with his head. He's being good. There. Feel that? I feel tired. You're tired too? <laughs> okay, let him trot stretch. 